I've been asked a lot on how I do my needle felted eyes, so I'm just going to do a quick tutorial. I started crocheting about 11 years ago. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm using a 3.75 millimeter hook. You can also use a 4, depending on your tension. You're going to want a 4 weight yarn, something like Red Heart Super Saver or Karen One Pound. I don't think that's super important, but that's what I use. You're going to want a needle felting needle. Make sure it's a needle felting needle and not just a regular needle. It will not work. You're going to want either roving yarn or you can also brush out your yarn. I'm going to use this because it was sent to me and it is glorious. I'm going to say this name wrong, so I apologize. Siobhan's Craft Fiber. What you're going to want to do is crochet a circle first. I will sew mine on inside out because I like the way that it lays. I'm going to put the pattern right here. Please screenshot. This will also depend on your size that you want for the eyes. You can make it bigger or smaller. Before we sew this on, I just want to point something out. Where you sew the eyes on a piece will completely change how your piece will look at the end. It could look adorable or it could look pretty scary. What I do is I will stuff the eye and then place it where I want it and pin it down. I have mine facing the wrong side facing up. When you're sewing a piece on, you want to make sure to follow the direction that your stitches are going. Your needle should very easily slide through and that will make it seamless. I do normally recommend splitting your yarn in half because it'll give it a cleaner sew, but you want to grab whatever the bottom piece is and then you want to sew through the outer loop and then you're just going to sew that on like that all the way around. Okay, now for the fun part. Before I start, there's also somebody on TikTok as well that makes different blends and stuff. Uh, Creative Ripples by Lisa. She has some really cool colors. What you want to do is kind of rip it out. And please note that I am in no way a professional when it comes to this. So if you find somebody who says I'm doing it wrong, eh, you should probably listen to them. But I don't know. It works for me, so I do it this way. Just kind of go like that and place it on my item. I should probably do less, but I don't care. All right, and then you're just going to, I don't think I can say these words if it goes on TikTok. Uh, tap, 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 tap onto your piece. And you really want to make sure that's in there. Like I have seen some where people just barely kind of do this. That's not gonna end up staying for very long, I don't think. So really spend a decent amount of time making sure that it's going to stay in its place. And I know there are people that say that you should only use wool. There are, however, people that are allergic to wool. So I do use acrylic, like I brush out just regular acrylic yarn quite often and I use that and it works just fine, at least for this. I don't know about when you're doing like 3D stuff but you just want to go around your entire piece and continue doing that. So to get my edges clean around the bottom, I'll normally just kind of hold it in place and then basically do like an outline around the edge. And then clearly after you're done stabbing everything, ooh, I said that word, um, you go back and just continue, but you kind of want to get like a nice clean edge going around the entire thing. Just kind of hold it in place and then tap, 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 tap. This is wonderful if you have a lot of pent up anger and aggression. And it really is just that simple. Like it is a bit different doing like actual designs on things and stuff like that. But as far as the eyes, like don't be afraid. It's really, you can't really go wrong, I don't think. Like, you're literally just putting something on top and then poking it. Aggressively poking. 
after you're pretty much finished with everything, you just want to go back in and make sure you don't have any like kind of bare spots anywhere. And this is the reason that I like these kind of eyes. Like first off, I just think that they look adorable. But secondly, like they're going to be this size for safety eyes. Like first, I don't even know if you can find them. And secondly, like that's going to cost you a small fortune. But that is all. Sorry, I know this is not a great tutorial, but I just need to get it done and over with because I've had a lot of people ask. But have a great day.